Hey everybody, and welcome to my epic journey around the WA coastline. 7,000 kilometers to be precise. Uh, starting in Perth, I worked my way north, up through Lancelin, then up to Coronation Beach, just north of Geraldton. Uh, passing the Pinnacles over near Cervantes, another area of interest. Uh, then going up to Denham, which is right next to Monkey Mire. Uh, passing through Cow Barry, the Pink Lake, and Hamlin Pool, which has the stromatolites, the longest living organism on the planet. Uh, getting as far north as Exmouth or Sandy Bay, which is a great spot. Great spot for kiting, but also just relaxing. Uh, took a few days then to get back to Perth, and I found myself going east over through Wave Rock in Kalgoorlie which holds the biggest gold mine in the whole of Australia. Um, lots of fires around this area, but finally made my way down to Esperance, which is just gorgeous. Um, really awesome spot. Um, the kite gear was away at this stage. It was just really lots of exploring on the south coast, down through Albany. Um, all this green area here, there's lots of production, food production going on. Margaret River, lots of wine regions, food again. Um, and then make my way back up to Perth. Um, the whole thing took about two weeks. Um, so yeah, sit back and hope you enjoy. All right, this is it. We've got the van. We're here. Uh, just driving out of Perth. Uh, it's all right, this thing. It's a bit short on storage. Uh, we only just got out of Perth like an hour or so. And then the smell of the fires. So I'll give you a view here flip the camera I oh, just turn it around so all through here is um, yeah as far as you can see it's just been recently burnt you can smell the fires something vicious um, heading to Lancelin first stop which is like maybe hour and a half out of Perth all right we're here we made it Lancelin uh, look at how good is it white sand Kickers over there, flat water down there. I got my rig, I'm all dressed, time to get in. So we're at Sandy Cape now, uh, about to go have a look at things because I got here pretty late last night in the dead of the night. I'm going to try not to do that again, uh, just driving at night with the roos and dingoes I saw last night, it's not cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the bed, it's pretty handy. Um, bigger than I thought uh, just dump all your wet stuff in the front you got a uh, bit of a kitchen all that sort of jazz at the back even got a little entertainment in the sunroof there so this is the view here from the top of Sandy Cape I'll tell you what she's a beaut water's warm very inviting I might go for a little swim so I skipped the swim at the last joint and I'm at a place called Dynamite Bay. It's in Greenhead. And it's a little gem, a little protected gem. Perfect for a little morning swim. Water's beautiful. So this is Cliffhead North, uh, just up the road, about say half an hour shy of Dongra. It's just a big stretch of, of camping area. It's a really good place to stay, I reckon, if you're around the area. Well, this is Dongara South Beach. Nice and windy. A little cafe here as well. Can sit out the day. Quite nice. A little bit wavy. Well, we made it to Coronation Beach. Sun's coming down. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a must stop for any kiters. I'll show you the beach. This is it. This is the point. You got this little launch pad area here. I remember this from years ago. It's such a classic area. It's such a good day. And so we got here, it's a little ribby water, you know, pretty flat. And out the back there, you can't really see it here, but there's these rolling waves and you can just pick them up. Just ride them for about 20 seconds. They're awesome. And then over there is where the windsurfers are. Such a good spot. Just out of um, Geraldton, it's called Coro, Coronation Beach. Get into it, it's a ripper. Here we are at the Pink Lake. 
about an hour south of Kalbarri. Pretty cool. Well, we made it to Denham. This is Little Lagoon, and it is just butter flat. A uh, couple of issues. There's a wind um, wall behind us with the trees. The other thing, it's also our home to the most deadliest fish in the world, uh, the stonefish. So if you step on him, you have to go straight to the hospital within about an hour. Otherwise, it might stop your heart. Anyway, go on in. How's that for a morning view? We're at Gladstone National Park. This place is phenomenal. You just park wherever you want. Everybody's so spread out. That's my nearest neighbor over there. Just a big sandy area. Uh, little shared communal section, running shower, everything. Phenomenal. Well, after a uh, six, seven hour drive today, it's been pretty grueling. Hot as in the car. It's risen about oh, seven, eight degrees because I've gone north. But I've just arrived in paradise. Have a look at this. A couple of kites out there. Flat, flat, flat water. A little bay, it's called Sandy Bay. It's all the way up at Exmouth. It is just something. Cool, so this is uh, Osprey next to Sandy Bay kiting joint. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. It was near a five star rating on uh, Wiki Camps. And I've just made it just in time for the sunset. And if you can see over there, just beyond the, where the sandbreaker is, that's Sandy Bay. I was actually coming into that little region there too. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just going to have a uh, bit of a uh, bit of a drink next to the cliff here. Here at the top of Coral Bay, just on top of a sand dune. This is some prime time snorkeling area down here. Just come up to the top of the hill for sunset. It's pretty amazing stuff. Chill, chill, chill. Well, this is Denham, right near the uh, the Denham lookout. A little disappointing. Uh, it looks really nice out there. Um, I'm just on my own with the kite. I've set everything up on the wombat so I can uh, self-launch and land. There's just not enough space on the beach and it's low tide now. There's all these shells over here, so to save doing damage to myself with the kite, I think I'm gonna call it a day. So clumsy me lost my pluggers, but uh, it's a good thing I found this. The thong shack. Found a magic bit. Well I found the kite this, this is down at main town and they're just out the front with the boats. I didn't see them the other day. It's a bit choppy, it's not like the other place. Okay, so uh, after snapping my harness, losing my leash, the harness was bust. I bought a dud harness for 300 bucks. I uh, bought my second harness in two days. I finally made it down to the pond. Look at this. It's just really, really super, super flat. It's, there's not a ripple there, really. Um, one funny thing they do here, I kind of like it, is um, everyone sort of walks their kites down to the grassy area. So like, you don't get an ounce of sand on your kit at the end of the day. Really rip a spot. There's some waves over there. Um, little ones, nothing big. But this is the pond here. It's down at Safety Bay, down in Perth. Uh, really, yeah, really awesome location. I've had an exhausting day. I've had to drive an extra 400 kilometers around a burning road because of the bushfires. Just arrived to the south coast, and this is what they call the Pink Lake. Why is the Pink Lake not pink, you might ask? Well, there's a board here which explains all that. Human intervention. Man, okay. This is Hellfire Bay. This place, part of the Cape Le Grand National Park. This place is ridiculous. It's so beautiful. Like the sand squidgy under the feet, the waters. Ah, look, it's 
Arctic water, but it's actually quite nice. It's just so beautiful, all these big boulders everywhere. Magic. It's a lucky bay, this is. Part of the Cape Le Grand, down near Esperance. Oh, it's just, everything's perfect down here. And this is the campground. I reckon you'd have to book about six months in advance. This thing would be so busy in peak periods. Mate, let's get involved. Hopetown Wharf. It's not much. But on this side over here, it's very well protected. Quite windy too. No one's out. I don't know if they ever would be. Yeah, cool little town like in the middle of nowhere. Four Miles Beach. This is in uh, the National Park, Fitzgerald National Park, just outside uh, Hopetown. Some uh, nice little areas here, I reckon. So this is Albany. Bit of a rubbish day, but uh, yeah, quite a nice place anyway. You can imagine it'd be nice anyway when the sun's out. Yeah. This is the Gloucester tree. No safety rails or netting or anything. It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. It's Hamlin Bay down near the very southwestern corner. A cool little spot. There's some uh, local rays here you can see in the water. Bit of a feeding going on. Awesome spot. Nice and flat too. out there. It's pretty nice. This last little place was real gusty because of the headland. Apparently this one's a bit more uh, uh, This is uh, Margaret River, so right next to the river mouth over there. As you can see though, it's pretty uh, 